In today's video we're gonna build a huge lego gangster city, we'll start with some dealers and finally we'll build the gangster boss, so we have a plan, now let's go! Like I said at first we will start with building the dealers, after I switched some pieces I decided to make a blue legs, a blue jacket and a hoodie, so this is how I imagine a dealer would look like. Then I built three other dealers, of course the clothes of them all look a bit wrecked, and then I also built some customers from uh, which to poor we have everything here. Now only one thing is missing, something to deal with. I thought about a lot of things like cameras, radios or even hairs till I found something I can easily produce with Lego building techniques. FBI, open up! Then I grabbed a bit of money, a box full of diamonds, Diamond! and now we also have something to pay with. Now only one thing is missing, the place for the video. And that is what we're gonna build now. My first idea was to build a park, cause in my experience, only for movies of course, parks or popular places are the best areas to deal with something. I started with some lime green plates for the foundation, added two trees on top and some other plant pieces, and then I built a fence out of profile bricks. And then of course I put some dealers and customers in the park. Let us make 5000 for these crazy legal building techniques. Let us better make 3 STOP POLICE POLICE The police knew about the plans of the dealers and corrupted the deal. But at first I think you should know who our officers are. We have some normal officers and some SWAT members and some shoot safe suits. So the police catch up to dealers, but now we need a place for them. So let's build a little jail. No, no, I start no, the no. side with some normal white bricks, then I start designing the front with some normal white waffle pieces and a little window school, then I add these classic jail windows and a uh, top deck with a little door. And next up I found hours for great building taking for the roof, till I found something pretty random but also works really well. Inside the jail I put two beds, a toilet and a safe, I really hope they use it. Now finally I also added the detectives and we have no place for them to chill out or to think about their next case. So let's build a police station. Hey! When you think about a police station maybe you think about that with Lego release and the city line, QB and white. But I wanted to do something closer to their great expert building, so I made a police station in camp. Really important for me was that the front of the police station looks really cool, so I used some great building techniques, I used some inlet pieces here, some windows, and also these arches for the main entrance that it really looks really more static. Then we go to the second area, you also have some great building techniques like this huge window front. At the side we have a huge TV with the news on it, real important for the cops to know what's going on in their city. Then I added some furniture inside like this little reception desk at the front or some other stuff for the cops. But now of course we need the next upgrade for our gangsters. So here he is, the curb cop. So from the clothes and all he looks like a normal cop, so I gave him this face with this little tattoo which can be a gang tattoo I think. But a cop cop has to do something to help the gangster boss, so he just helps the dealers to escape from jail. She shot me in my nutsack. Now they're going to meet the gangster boss, but not unrecognized. The detective already has some information about the gangster crew and follows them the complete way. But of course the cop cop recognize that and call someone to manage the problem. There's someone following me, could you please help me out? Yeah, sure. This is the sadly end of it. So here we have the three killers for our gangster crew. They all have really nice and nearly military clothes and amazing builded weapons. For now we only need one dude, but we're gonna need the other two later. So now they're gonna visit the gangster boss in his skyscraper. I wanted to use some really cool architecture here, even when it's a really simple skyscraper. So I made these three sections, the middle section plus these two side sections. At the bottom I used two layers of light blue gray profile bricks, then I used another layer of light profile bricks, a few layers of dark orange profile bricks, and then another layer of white profile bricks. I also used many windows here and also in the middle section, because this is really important to 
catch up a look of the skyscraper. One thing I like best as my skyscraper creation is this curved step in front of the door. Also the fact that the door is a bit inverted to build it brings a really nice look. Inside the first area we have the little reception desk and also a chair for one of the guards, the gangster boss, to look up who is coming in this house. And here in the back of the first area we also have a little room for the next level up for our gangsters. And the next upgrade is the due to tax if the payment the gangster boss gets is real. In my imagination this is an old man so this is how I built it him. Of course the police already recognized that the dealers escape. Be it they should ask the citizens for help. So the police director decided to give an interview. But maybe you should assemble all the citizens at one place that they all can watch the interview. So I built a little marketplace for them. I started with the grounding in light blue spray with this mix out of tile and plate and then I added a little spring on top with this crazy building technique which makes it look like the complete spring would be full of water. Then I added this nice statue of a knight on top. Criminals escape from jail. Are we in danger? More to that after that breaks. You want the most delicious chicken ever? Then come to Chick fil A. The second area of the office of the detective who sat the whip, let me present to you our main detective. Our detective is trying to solve the case, he is already in his apartment to search for hints. And finally, he also finds these three pictures. The pictures show the little depot close to the skyscraper. I mainly bullet it with dark red and dark orange profile bricks, then I completed it with this completely illegal roof building technique and around it and inside I had some boxes with illegal building techniques. After the detective arrived, it only took a few minutes to get to know who the gangster boss is. This is the gangster boss, I gave him this suit and also with this really good fitting hat for a gangster boss. The hat is also really nice I think. I think it's really good fitting for the character. The third area is for a gangster boss. In the front we have a normal apartment but when you go through this hidden door you have a little room for the gangster boss with a chair, a table and a lot of stuff. Short, put your hands up there. The short came to the apartment of the gangster boss, but he was already able to escape through a side corridor. But back in the first area, the boss had a surprise for the officers. The last two soldiers were here. Now only two cops survived to chase the gangster boss. But now let's make the final as a Lego City end. The gangster boss is trying to escape in Lego City. Both the taxi to help him to escape. No, the cops need help. Grab a bicycle and chase the gangster boss. But no chance for the cops to get the boss. Oh no, the car crashed. Get out of the car. Oh no, one of the other gangsters was able to escape. Let's catch him up. Pull the police car and catch the gangster. Got it. Oh no, they're trying to escape by bike. Pull the helicopter to catch them up. Yeah, you got it. Feel the adventure in Lego City.